The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. When I was growing up, I had the same monkey as a pet. Really? Same monkey. And this monkey, you have to take him to somewhere to, I mean, satisfy himself. So, ah, <laughs> so you see this mark right here? You see this? I had to do a tattoo around it. This was caused by this monkey. Because I had a monkey that every week I had to take the monkey to service himself. And <laughs> it's been two weeks. I was preparing for exams. I didn't do it. So when I came back home, the monkey was angry with me. So I tried to play with the monkey like the way I always do. And the monkey was extremely mad at me. And he just gave me this mark. <laughs> Yo. So I, 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 so the same monkey. This, the same one. I don't even know the type of monkey this one is, but they say, and the monkey was called Jackie. Hi. Wow. Same monkey, but now it grew bigger than this one. So what, extremely big. why do you guys have them as pets though? I mean, like, I just feel like it's, it's uncommon, by the way. It's, it's uncommon, uncommon to okay. have a monkey as a pet, but somebody gave the monkey to my mom as a birthday present. But okay. the monkey was extremely small. So the monkey grew up with us. So it grew bigger and bigger, man. Nice. But it was becoming aggressive when he grew up, man. It's, uh, so that's why we lost it. Hey, wait, the man is not here. But I play with the monkey a bit. All right, guys, welcome back to Second on Island, where I'm stuck with you guys, and we're always smiling. So we are basically in the Volta region right now, and we are at the spot where they make all of these clay pots. Uh, I guess they call them earthenware. Now, these, if you guys remember, are some of the pots that when Wode and I went to that restaurant that we ate out of. We ate the fufu and the soup. So we're at the spot where they say a lot of these pots are actually made which is kind of cool. Especially when you know that this is where you're going to eat all of your fufu, your soup, contome, all those stuff out of. That's just amazing, man. Um, what I was asking if there's anything like this in Jamaica, uh, I can't quite say at this vast size, even though we do work with clay. But when we do use clay items, it's mostly for like uh, plants, like, you know, for pots and stuff like that. So, yeah. I hope I can probably get something like this to take back home once the shipping weight is going to allow. So we are probably going to try to find the, the area that they make this. Usually, I believe it's called a kiln. So they toss the clay in to get super hot, hardened and stuff. How, how do they do it? Mm. So after the modding, the modding with their hands and yes, stuff. Yes, the modding on the machine. What machine could you want? The mini machine I bought back. And now uh, we are in here. How long have you been doing this for? For me, I have not been doing it. You have not been doing it? Yeah, but yes, I've been doing other things, but not drawing. Okay? It's just now that 
I I also fail to lend it. Lend it. Which is this has been doing your dad has been doing this. Yeah. So, what exactly is this that you're making right now? This particular this platform. Platform. Yeah, to put the pallet. Oh. So that's only just to make it sticky. <laughs> I thought you were it's making the it all platform more. is just to make to hold the yeah. got gotcha. you on the machine. Uh so this is something that I've never seen in my life before. You can see once you come in here, in here is like the total opposite of where the clay pots are going to go into. This is a very cool room, a little bit dark, while outside there in the kilns it's blazing hot they actually put a lot of wood in the fire and make it super super hot so that the pots can cure after if you look in the roof of this place you can see the little cutting device that they use to seamlessly cut through the clay what they tried to cut through the clay in one go and it took him a little bit of time and what it shows you is that these jobs even though they look simple they take quite a bit of artistry time and effort and of course expertise for it to look simple when he started, I didn't know what he was doing, man. I'm like, what is this guy doing? Huh? It's cheap water. It's not like the clay. Can I ask this question? The clay that you use, is it an ordinary clay that we know? Or is this, you have a specific type of clay? It's different, different. Sam, Sam is there, hey. it's, it's, co it's container hey. sand. Okay. If you are using it to mold, you can't, so get, we can't get it. It will be broken. So, the, the, so we have the specific one that we use. Okay. Uh, do, do you guys mix anything with the clay? No. Just the ordinary clay? Nothing is inside. Like uh, the, the local one, uh -huh. the, the quad method, yeah. that's why you mix it. The grog with the clay. Okay. This is going to be asanka. You want asanka? You asanka. want me to make asanka? A asanka, for you? asanka. I love eating fufu and kako. You okay, know. You don't worry. And see that. Mommy got a stress on him, man. <laughs> guys notice but if you look at the kid back there like he also is in symmetry with her so you might be thinking that she's the only one that's doing the job he has to make sure that the rotations of this thing is not too fast or not too slow that she can actually make this pot come out exactly how she wants it to it's just amazing how everybody's here just super fascinated with something that is so traditional it's so way back it's not an iPhone 10 or iPhone 13 or 14 this yeah the 14 is not out as yet but maybe when you're watching this video, we're at high school 15. <laughs> Wine. <laughs> 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 so, 
so like I mentioned back there in that cool room when it comes down to clay pots you kind of force it you have to take your time allow it to dry on its own naturally and then you toss it into the roaring fire if you don't do that it's going to break huh but what is, what is this for the bamboo for the fire firewood ah oh, okay cool come here <laughs> you hold this for me man no it's not hot bro it's hot <laughs> <laughs> so this is the final product yeah and how much are you gonna sell this this one is five cities five cities ah it's hot touch it don't just take your time Yeah. Hot. This guy is holding it like it's nothing, man. Yeah. But I want to put this in my room, though. So what about this one that has a crack ah. on it? Like, what what can you do with it after? This one there is just. Have to throw it away. It's just like fix. You can fix it. Yeah. Fix we it. use uh, the glue right through the uh, cutting test of the glue. Mm. Mix it with blood, with cement, then you mend it. Ah. Thank you, man. So I've I've seen that you you also have to paint this, yeah. Yeah. After For the colors. Before you paint. Oh, okay. But what is this specifically for? This is for a uh, artificial forest for uh, sitting tables. For flowers. On, yeah. Oh. You can put it on your TV. Oh, okay. Nice one. But I, I feel like this part, this culture is actually missing in Ghana, man. Because back in the days, my whole house was full of pot, uh, asanka to eat in. Now we don't even have a single one. Yeah, true. The one that we have is just for our putoyo, you know? Like, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for taking me around. I really appreciate your time and uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I am sweating bullets. It is hot in Ghana. The heat is different to what we have back home in Jamaica. But, you see me? Amazing experience. Oh, stickers <laughs> brother what is this this one is a basket uh, made of um, palm trees oh palm, palm trees yeah this is like the palm tree okay yeah so this one is um, basically made and it's used for fishing for fishing yeah so the uh, small scale fishing they put it in the water and the fishes enter through this place and the water you know pass through the holes in between the holes uh. so that the fishes will remain inside. Nice. Alright, so we're just leaving this area right now where there's a bunch of potteries like all the way down. I've never seen anything like this back home in Jamaica. It's just like a whole road stretched out with just people just making pots. So, so we're on the next leg of our journey. I have no clue what we're doing today. But let's see where we're gonna stop next. Street vendors, the time that we got tow boots in here, you see a lot of them, but right now they're not tow boots in the country anymore. But you still see them, yeah. So, what we're gonna do is like we're gonna stop the car. So, now we stop the car, they will all come to the car to sell something to us. So, look at that. You see the speed? 
Okay, yeah, uh-huh. You see that? Yeah. Oh, everyone is coming. You're not gonna let the shot. Ah, Apollo, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. 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 Yes, I baby is the local one. Yes, that is five city. Yeah, take I'll give you a bag. No, can I can I buy two? No, thank you. And then you never have biscuits. You never have biscuits. Yeah, I want to buy a baby biscuit. I want to buy a biscuit. No, no, every man. Wait, 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 wait. Um, this is how much? This is. Guys, this feels like uh, sometimes, well, back in the day, I don't know about now, when he used to go to uh, middle quarters and they're selling the fish, a bunch of people that just comes and just try to sell, but this is way more, way more people. All right, I'm going to let Wade them deal with the, the purchasing and stuff right now, because they know how to barter quicker with them, you know, get the right price and such. YouTube. We are going to be on YouTube live. And um yeah. What were they saying, bro? <laughs> Just doing their job. Mm. Can I can I try one of those? That weird thing. Is that is that a turkey butt? This is what you have. That. No, this is a shrimps. Oh, let me try some. This is shrimps. I thought these are the shrimps. This is not shrimps. Hey. This is what we saw in the distance. What is this? Yo, called? where's the food, man? It's no. a seafood. Guys, I have no clue what it is. They say it's a seafood. Look at that shot. It's nice. The shot, you got a good shot, right? Yeah. This is the pain part this guy messing up. I didn't want yeah, they don't want to mind him. Just I don't want these guys to come down, you know. When you're, when you're with them, don't let them come down. Okay. Like in any immigration and stuff. Okay. Just Sorry, that was good. That's good. So what did you buy, man? Why is the chuff too much food, man? Jeez. Chuff is somehow around. This guy is just it buying. It tastes like um, mussels. This guy is just buying on I don't know how I can put this on twice. Yeah, I'm not the toy. It's quite tough. And where is the? But. But prepare, I put in one of the other things here. Yeah, this kind of mellow so you guys buy feel and flavor. Like now this is our body first. And then you put it inside. Ah. But outside is quite hard. <laughs> this is the only place in Ghana that they cook. They know how to cook yam, fried yam. Yeah. It's not bitter. I hope it's, it's true, mm. man. Because <laughs> anytime you like I buy this? yam in a car. Ah, the flavor now. This tastes like a, a firm yeah, liver. Nice. That's what it tastes like. The For me, it's not bad. Yeah. Now. Fried yams in Jamaica we do um roasted yam. But this this is different but I like this. Actually probably we do fried yam sometimes, like but when it boil and then we fry it after the next day. Try mm. this. Is it turkey butt? Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> I should try it first. I get a short of food. Trying to Wait, wait. Let me okay. get a shot. Let me get a shot. So, this is the... The turkey butt, bro. Turkey butt. Shake that booty, 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 booty. <laughs> That's the turkey shaking the booty, bro. <laughs> All right, so, back home in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I can't make nobody know so I eat this. Oh, you understand? Oh, yeah. But guess what? Chicken batty. Them know. In Jamaica, we call this chicken batty. And if you eat chicken batty, it means you're chatting up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Let's try. So, but... What does it taste like? Don't tell nobody me said it. You said it's good. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try. Alcohol bread. It's Alcohol bread. Is it? No, it's called bread starch. It's made from starch. Made from starch. I'm hoping that it's sweet. It has a little bit sugar. Looks like a coffee strip. Uh, it tastes like sugar. It tastes sugar because of the starch. And even though it's sugar, they eat it with pepper. Oh, it's a leaf on the bottom. Mm -hmm. like Abolo. So, just grab this and then. Abolo Debi. Is that correct? <laughs> Debi? Debi. Yeah, <laughs> Abolo Debi. Abolo Debi, man. Debi. Uh, it's different. It's like a fusion between like uh, blended rice. 
bulk of bread. You, you can taste the kind of uh, like yeast, so you know it's kind of bready. And when you bite into it, it's just like these chopped up rice grains type of feel. It's not too sweet, but it's lightly sweetened. Um, I like this. This I can work with this for sure. Small fish. Get that small fish. Can I try one? Can I try? Can small, I try small creeps. Can I try first? <laughs> oh my god. You scared? Yeah, she's very scared. Why? No, 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 I don't want to I don't want to use the toilet. Alright, right, let's go for it. So it's like I guess like sprouts because they're some small fish. Yo, sorry, I'm gonna go to this place. You want you know? You want you. Instead of you to buy more thirty bucks, you bought a boat. I don't know. This one too. Okay. But a thirty bucks didn't have this one. This one want to taste that good thing. Try it if you want, but I don't. I don't That's think it's. Yeah. What is your favorite uh, street food? <laughs> oh, you don't like a bolo? Uh, no, Debbie. <laughs> yeah. But what's, what, what's your favorite thing in the car so far? The fried yam. Fried yam? Yeah. Oh, no, another African massage. Here we go. Another. <laughs> it's uh, not even African massage. <laughs> this is not African massage. You disappointed me. <laughs> yeah, but would you say the fried yams? Yeah. Fried yams. I would say the fried yams because every time I buy fried yams in Accra, I don't like it. Mm. Because at the end of the day, when you eat it, it's, uh, it tastes bitter at okay. the end. But anytime I come to this part of Ghana, mm -hmm. every fried yam that I taste, it's good. It's good. So I always want to come here just to taste that fried yam. Nice. But Apollo, I'm sorry, man. I think people don't know how to cook in Accra. Maybe. Even Kinky. Maybe. <laughs> Is that rice? It feels like rice, ain't it? Yeah. It's All right, so. I'm gonna try. What is it? What is it called again? Um, this one is. Um, is it butter and biscuits? What's, what's the name? Are you biscuits? Are you biscuits? Okay. So Julie is going to open this and let us try. I'm hoping that this is exceptional. Because I I'm, I'm feeling for. No, no, no. Maybe maybe they like. Aha. So I was talking to you. They like. I think I know they like. Mm. All right, let's see. Hold on. Me, the last time. Oh, this smells good. Ass. <laughs> oh. This is the first time going on. Bingo. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the car. You know, it's like it tastes like coconut cookies. Yeah, so. This. They're really good. The moment you open the bag, you can smell that buttery coconut thing. Yeah, this is really good. No. It's like a, a jackass can. A carbon powder mm. of life, though. The Gary baby. I like it. Life. So, it has that, um, there's a name that we have in our, where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. we call it bomb powder. Mm -hmm. It's applied baby powder on my body. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but you're a Ghana baby, huh? Where's my Ghana baby, bro? We're, we're working on it, bro. Working on it? You're taking so long, bro. <laughs> I gave you five-star room to make a Ghana baby. Bro. <laughs> so that's the Volta region hat you have on. Yeah. Ah, it's really? called Kuli High. Kuli High. Yeah. In Jamaica, we just say Kango. So Kango, Kango cap. Right. This mm -hmm. one, you need some rituals to be flat. You need what? So you said you were born and bred from the Volta region. <laughs> yeah, I was born and bred here. I lived all my life here, bro. What's the language you talk again? Uh, our language is called Ewe. 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 Yeah. Ewe. And in our language, we so, say Efua. Efua. Efua means Efua. how are you? Efua means how are you? Nice. Davi Madakuku. So we have the perfect tour guide for Volta region now. Yeah, yeah. Oh guy could you be good. We are tell stories not the best, huh? It's okay. Okay, so in the Volta region we are noted for producing uh, academics and professionals. Okay. Usually some of the very best academics are from the Volta region. So we did the research and we found that there's not too much land, especially when you go to the Angola coast, you have the Laguna one side and you see the other side. Mm -hmm. So people who don't have land, they are compelled to study by nature because there's no land to sell. There may not be too much natural resources to mine. There is not any too much economic activity going on as said academic activity. So the most prestigious people are teachers. 
talk and then they encourage their children to learn and uh, so their children become lawyers and engineers and they're like before we can actually get into business when they get out of, of the region you get it and then the second one which is about the handicraftness of the Volterians so this is because of how during the colonization days Volta region and Togo were colonized by the Germans and the Germans were industrialists so they had a lot of tradesmen that were trained by the Germans and stuff and that's the culture we built up you get it so when that happened we became very good at those tasks so after the second world war so I think the Germans lost to the other faction and the British took Volta region in addition to Ghana in that bloody side also okay and then the French took Togo in addition to Benin. Mm. I'll be getting it. So, right now, when you get to Accra, the best tilers, the best masons, the best carpenters, they are either from Volta region or even from Togo. Ah. Yeah, it's something that is very dope. So, you'd say the, the Voltarians are very crafty people, yeah. industrious. Very, very industrious people. And then, very, very uh, academically inclined. Those two things, they are not that very. Nice. Yeah, Viglo. Yes. I, 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 I heard that um, Buta region is known for juju. Like every <laughs> house that you enter, they have a shrine there. Even if the person is a pastor. Mm. So how did they get that? This thing is getting real twisted, bro. No, so he, he asked a good question because before we got here, where we were staying, like some of the guys were saying, oh, be careful. And they had a very ominous look on their face. I was like, come on, bro. You like, may not come back alive. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's what, tell us of that part yeah, about the Volterians. You should address this. Are you shit? I'm not. I'm not the one. I'm not the best person to address this. You are from. But I'm just region. telling you that, like in the Volta region, it's known for they got the best juju in when it comes to. Like, <laughs> and juju is like a, a form of witchcraft. The black, the black magic. You see, I started talking about it, and then I hurt myself. <laughs> It shows that Walker, Walker, Walker to Juju land, man. See, like, I, I, I had a friend who he said he was a bit tortured when he went to Jamestown. Mm. Then when the people started, like, torturing okay, him, he yeah. just went to the person and said, you know what? I'm from the water region. If you mess up with me, I'll take you to my shop. <laughs> That's how. That's how. two people who are very strange historians and are very expert to this okay who will be taking us at Drew at Keta Jewelek he knows the history and some of the stuff so he'll tell us more nice and my dad who has taught African studies for mm. all his life he also has some very good information like this is what I, I got to know okay we are very spiritual people mm. and uh, you will see some of the spiritual places at Keta so the water region didn't have too much traditional kingship rulers. They had more priesthood rulers because of the history that dates back to if you heard about uh, Kinagokoli and yeah. Noche. So they had a king who was, uh, let's say, troublesome mm. and supposedly wicked who kind of molested them. So they needed an old man who was more like a priest to take them out of the place. So they had mm. a Akromada. This priest called Akumada, and Akumada's son was uh, Charlie and Chala. And then Chala, be, we believe that Chala was the one who became Okonfo Anoche. So Okonfo Anoche is Okonfo Ofenoche. Now, Charlie is the twin brother of Chala. They've had rivalry trained since birth. Mm. So Charlie managed to let Okonfo Anoche go, who was Chala then. Now, Charlie was the one who led the movement. His father led the movement from Anoche, then he took over. Okay. Now, Charlie has a history of being both very good and very bad. Okay, but for now, let's stick to the good part. I know you don't tell bad stories. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlie was a priest. So, Volterians always take mandate and leadership and a lot of things from priests. They hold priests in high places, and priests had a lot of authority. Mm. It's a priest that will instill the king, and the king submits to the rule of the priest. Okay, so the priesthoodness and the spirituality is. In its thickest form, sort of, and life was tough, man. They had to walk backwards, they had to live at night, they had to break a terrible wall. So, walk backwards? Yeah, when they got out of Noche, they walked backwards so that their trails could not lead the people to them. People got confused about their trails. Oh. Who had a lot of things, and you know, when a lot of things 
started, can we slave trade started, can we able to manage the staff? So they hold their priesthood and spirituality in high esteem. The thing about the the two and how they call it. In Jamaica. The stuff is that the religion, the the benevolent traditional religion mm -hmm. was there. Each my great grandfather was a priest. And everybody in my huh? family my great grandfather okay. was a priest. Mm -hmm. And everybody in my family is a musician. Whether mm -hmm. or not you like it or not, you have some acclimation to music. Okay. So the priesthood is there held in highest thing. Now the thing about evil practice is that it's not the religion or the tradition that is evil. It's the man who has now gotten power. Mm. Abuses the power. Then True. One. Then the other man who is scared of uncertainty, seeking power to secure himself. You know, mm. we live in a terrible world. So some of the people, especially for me, when during the construction site, you hear like the Togolese, they like to fight. You, know, you shouldn't fight for them. You make it out and stuff like that because when they are coming to Accra, you are going to another man's land, you are going to hustle, you are going to look for money. Yeah. So they want to, they say dope you, or in, literally we say cook, uh, the word is dope. So that when you go, you come back alive. Uh -huh. So you are protected. So we believe in righteousness. I believe that if you are righteous, nobody can harm you. Mm. You get it? So they go and they are not able to plot evil against these people. Sort of. But when the people get greedy and they themselves may not be righteous, then they seek some more advantage so that if there is a fight, they can fight their way out. If there is something, they can make their way out. If there is a race, as an accident, and that they can. You get it? But I, I, I see my people, they have the power. Okay? So the challenge is how they use the power, power. Yeah. and the source in which the power is taken from and how it has been manifested. Okay? It has been demonized so much because of the evil people who got the opportunity to handle me. Yeah. For me, I've not really handled him before. I, my father, I think my grandfather was a Christian. So my father is born a Christian. I was born a Christian. So we've heard the stories. Okay. And sometimes we've seen magic shows. So when magic they have, shows. When they have festivals, they can do very terrible magic. You've shows. seen it before? Yeah. Oh. They put knife. They put knife. Stomach, they cut it. I can make your dick vanish, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, don't joke with them. Yeah. So, if you let's say you go and let's somebody's say, wife, you go and yeah. sleep with her, yeah. your dick will be stuck, bro. Like, you um, walking like. Oh. <laughs> but the thing about Botha region is um, because of the spiritual, uh, spiritualism and the um, people being afraid of the juju, there's uh, no stealing. People don't yeah. steal. Oh, it's, nice. Yeah, very peaceful because you are afraid that if you still you saw the beast you saw the beast that you were you were afraid of the beast yeah they are not making honey they are rather protecting the place the moment you steal they follow you so that's the kind of religion they have we don't we don't get it why people will not eat cat because cat is like the nicest food in both region cat yeah yeah bro it's, so we make in, in Accra or in other part of Ghana, we make fun of the Votarians that hey, when the Votarian is coming, hide your cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, this is let me tell you the stories about the cat. I had a famous uncle who had uh, access to uh, politicians' cats, which were very nice and big and fat. <laughs> so he used to do a lot of events. When he does events, they will corner our dads. You know, cats which is not too much. So they will corner our parents. Somewhere and then they eat cattle, then they give us chicken and they're like, Bitch. So you have to devise a means to sneak into that room. You probably hide your father's keys, so you are looking for your mom. Then you sneak into that room to have a fill of the cat meat, bro. That's the nicest meat I have eaten in my life. It's better than the trophy. What? <laughs> uh, cat meat is the best, better, better than a turkey, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling you, cat meat is and it's scarce, it's rare, like. It's difficult to kill and the like so during occasions then they do it for the VIPs okay. they hide themselves in a the room then they sneak there they have a bite and they love it uh, then a discussion because of the cat wow. so we didn't realize that people in Accra and the other places didn't like cat or eating cat before uh -huh. for me I, you've I eaten like, it before yeah okay yeah. so this is a different opinion does it hold its taste tastes nice but not really like okay for him it's like a specialty to him but yeah. me i wanted to taste and when when you eat him 
the head looks scary. Yeah. With the heads on <laughs> the heads on the heads on the, the plate? Yeah, it's it's they put the whole head in the soup. Oh. It's normally prepared with soup. Wow. <laughs> so, you took a soup soup? You yeah. took a stew. Stew. That's how come you didn't enjoy it. Oh, okay. That's the soup. That's taking a stew. Sometimes you don't even add any food, you just do the stew. We just pick the meat from the stew. Bro, people fight over this. You can use your life in a cat meat fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, like people could travel for the cat me too. I'm telling you a fact. See, one of my business plans is to just grow up, rear cat, and set up a cat meat restaurant. It's going to be big money, I wow. tell you. Because you can overprice it. Like, people are ready to pay premium for cat meat. And it's rare. It's difficult to kill and do stuff. You need a special cook to make it. Do stuff, man. You, you should try cat meat. I'll see if you can. Hell yeah, no. <laughs> There's actually a joke in my data in a cross house that since he got a Vortarian assistant, his cats never increased. Alright, so we just heard that awesome story from Viglo about the Volta region people. And the reason why I'm so happy about that story is because yeah, we were really spooked out by those guys. They were telling us a bunch of stuff about the Volta region. But yo, knowledge is power. You know, just hearing it from, from a Voltarian, hearing his perspective on stuff. It kind of helps the calm and level people down and I hope that in these videos that you guys watch Whether you're not watching for the food, you're just watching for the vibe You learn something each and every step of the way Now, behind us right now, there's our Pentecostal church So it's kind of cool to know that they have Pentecostal churches here Or different denominations of Christianity There's also Muslim here and there's also I think they call it a traditional uh, religion So yeah, we're just here, uh, what day is was talking to this guy from Keta. I believe we're heading to the Keta region. So, um, yeah, looking forward to see what is next on this journey, guys. We are just like, uh, what you call it? We are leaving the wind. We're just going with the flow, seeing what Africa has to offer, and um, just enjoying the vibe while we're out here. All right, so it's about to be a full vehicle. I haven't done this in years, where you have to force your way into. Whoa, hold on. Into. The bus, yeah, you double check, make sure it's the door locked properly. Boom, you see me? Yo, it's been such a long time since I've done this. Back in Jamaica, when you used to take bus or you take taxi and they would cram the taxi, that's what it is. But anyway, this is because we need to do this right now so we can pick up this passenger as well. And we are going to be heading to a farm. Yeah, so this is all what it takes like to make too. these videos yeah, happen, guys. Genre. Make sure to drop a like on the video and check out my boys. Um, what's the channel name again? Grove Hub? Groove Hub. Groove Hub. Yeah. You see me check out this channel. What do you do again? You play bass guitar? Yeah, I'm like a musician now. So. Awesome, cool. Very Get that beat It's like the biggest one. Yeah, now we get some free massage. I hope you do. Mm -hmm. We come to the studio again. <laughs> <laughs>